Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tingo Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 21 augustus 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zondag. As always, our bulletin on Sunday and the Monday morning repeat will be in English. We have some Morse code words for today and an SSTV image in PD90 with today again some direction finding gear. Before we continue with the DX news and some other news, we will however have a small item in Dutch. Wat de sfeer op PI2 NOS betreft heb ik nog een aspect waar ik het nog niet over heb gehad. De Daily Minutes richt zich met name ook op nieuwkomers binnen de hobby. Ik maak er ook veel werk van om de uitzendingen ook voor mensen die nog geen historie of achtergrond in deze wereld hebben interessant te maken en begrijpelijk. Nieuwkomers komen tegenwoordig vaak als eerste met onze hobby in aanraking door te luisteren naar een repeater als met name PI2 NOS. Er mailen vaak nieuwkomers naar de Daily Minutes en dat is bijzonder welkom. Die nieuwkomers kijken vaak wel wat vreemd naar de sfeer die er af en toe op de repeater heerst en de problemen die er daardoor zijn. Een deel van de mensen die ik spreek vindt het geen probleem. Waarschijnlijk denken ze dat het er gewoon bij hoort. Maar een ander beslist niet heel klein gedeelte, die haakt bij het horen van sommige gesprekken op de repeater gewoon weg af. Die mensen zie je vermoedelijk ook niet meer terug. Dit mechanisme werkt onbedoeld een beetje als filter, waarbij de serieuze geïnteresseerden in de hobby, die vaak ook veel interesse in techniek hebben, geregeld afhaken en de mensen die minder problemen met de sfeer op de repeater hebben, wel doorstromen naar onze hobby. Het lijkt me dat we ons moeten afvragen of dat iets is wat we willen. Now for DX News, compiled from 425DX News and other sources, our mean DK9PY is active again at 6 Yankee 6 November from Jamaica, IOTA NA097, until the 24th of August. He operates CW only, QSL DK9PY, Directorial Bureau, log search on club, uh, club log. A team from the Lagan Valley Amateur Radio Society will be active as EJ0L from Aranmore Island, which is EU121, until the 22nd of August. They will be operating CWSSB and possibly RITI on 80, 40, 20 and 15 metres QSL direct only to MI0BPB. Flourish Island, the Island of Flowers, SAO30, is being activated every Tuesday by CV5 as CV5ER by a team of nine Argentinian amateurs. Details QRZ.com, QSL Directory, QSL. Former head lighthouse keeper Peter, VK4LLE, is on the air from Lady Elliot Island, OC142, until the 25th of August. Activity mostly, mainly for ILLW, QSL Home Call. Special Events News, GB100E will be commemorating the rescue of the crew of the Endurance by Ernest Shackleton in August 1916. Activity will be 24th to 31st of August at the Nottingham Transport Heritage Centre. More details www.redkiteradio.org.uk GB5ACO, that's Air Cadet Organisation, will be operating at Stollum ATC Squadron Norfolk from the 3rd to the 18th of September. They're celebrating 75 years of the Air Training Corps. Primary activity 40 metres, some 2 metres local and 60 metres. Special, uh, special QSL cards will be available. Details on QRZ.com. TCW, TCSWAT will be on the air as TC1LHW from Terkos Karaburun Lighthouse. During this weekend's ILLW event, there will be five operators on the HF bands, QSL via logbook of the world only. From the headquarters of the American Radio Relay League in Newington, Connecticut, this is ARRL Audio News. Amateur radio volunteers this week responded to requests for communications assistance after this week's historic flooding struck parts of Louisiana and Mississippi over the weekend in the wake of torrential rainfall. States of emergency were declared in both states. The federal government has declared Louisiana a major disaster area, and the Louisiana Emergency Operations Center was at full activation. FEMA Administrator Craig Fugate, KK4INZ, visited the stricken region on August 16th. Louisiana's Amateur Radio Emergency Service activated, and Section Emergency Coordinator Adam Tamplain, KD5LEH, put out a call for volunteers to support communication at Red Cross shelters in the hard-hit Livingston Parish and Baton Rouge area. On August 16th, the Red Cross was still requesting shelter operators. Although some residents were being allowed to return home at midweek, around 4,000 people remain in shelters. 
While we've had an increase in response from the southeastern area, it's still not quite enough, Tamplain said on Tuesday. Alabama Aries is attempting to put together a team for us. We have seen support from southwest Mississippi as well. We had operators at Red Cross New Orleans, Lafayette, and Baton Rouge today. Tamplain said a dozen or so operators were staffing eight shelters. Nearly 30 remained open at midweek. He asked additional volunteers to check in at Red Cross headquarters in Baton Rouge. Red Cross Vice President of Disaster Services, Operations, and Logistics Brad Kieserman said the Louisiana flooding was the worst natural disaster to strike the U.S. since Hurricane Sandy in 2012. Despite the flooding, most conventional telecommunication systems have remained operational. FEMA said flood conditions were likely to persist into next week. Noting the desperate need for ham radio volunteers in Louisiana, Aries volunteers in Mississippi have been asked to provide assistance. Prospective Mississippi volunteers should not self-deploy to Louisiana, but coordinate through Mississippi Section Manager Malcolm Kion, W5XX. More information on Amateur Radio's response to the flooding can be found on the web at ARRL.org. Now with this week's satellite update, here's Bruce Page, KK5DO. The expeditions are in this week's report. From August 19th through the 29th, look for CY9C on the satellites from St. Paul Island, QSL from their website or direct via WA4DAN. LOTW will be posted two months after the de-expedition. Then from August 31st through September 10th, YX0V will be active from Aves Island. The grid is FK85 and they will also be operating on satellite. Japan, Bangladesh, Ghana, Nigeria, Mongolia will be launching birds from the ISS in 2017. There will be four 1U CubeSats all transmitting on the same frequency. There will be QSL card for reception of telemetry, data, music, and the earth images. This is Bruce Page, KK5DO, for the ARRL Audio News. The SHL Sat Qatar Satellite Company has announced that the launch of SHL 2, which will carry the first Phase 4 geostationary amateur radio transponder, has been shifted to the third quarter of 2017. SHL 2 had been scheduled to launch in December. SHL 2 will carry two P4 non inverting amateur radio transponders operating in the 2.4 GHz and 10.4 GHz bands. A 250 kHz band with linear transponder is intended for conventional analog operation. And and an 8 MHz bandwidth transponder is designated for experimental digital modulation schemes and DVB amateur television. For the 10 GHz downlink, receiving stations will need anywhere from a 75 to 89 centimeter dish. The narrowband transponder will be vertically polarized, while the digital transponder will be horizontally polarized. For the 2.4 GHz uplink, narrowband modes such as CW and SSB should be able to access the satellite with a nominal power of 5 watts into a 75 centimeter dish with right-hand circular polarization. Ja, eventjes in het Nederlands nog iets aardig melden over de mossen. Het blijkt dat ik door regelmatig naar de mossen te luisteren steeds minder moeite heb met, uh, met de hogere snelheden. Dus uh, door die stukjes van 30 woorden en uh, de laatste paar dagen ook van 40 woorden per minuut, blijk ik daadwerkelijk mijn eigen hoogste snelheid een stuk te kunnen opkrikken. Dus ik wil puur voor mezelf eigenlijk, maar waarschijnlijk zijn er ook wel anderen die daar wat aan hebben de komende tijd ook wat hogere snelheden gaan toevoegen. Dus die uh, boven de 30 woorden zitten, zeg maar.
Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. De nieuwsuiters in de Daily Minutes worden volgens professionele journalistieke principes samengesteld. Vergelijkbaar met zoals dat bij een vakblad op papier gebeurt of bij een krant.